welcome once again um guys and ladies welcome once again to another lesson of this webinar in this webinar how we're we talking about candlesticks and candlesticks pattern all right how we're talking about the candlesticks and the candlesticks pattern in the last with video uh, we spoke about how to place trades using binance as an example as you all know binance is the number one exchange in the world and uh, that is what we are using in trading mostly but i must tell you we have what we have um, numerous ways in which we trade we have numerous ways in which we trade like numerous platform in which we trade with we trade we trade with get.io with kucoin with hotbit those are centralized exchange we have those that we call what we call them decentralized exchange we call them this i don't know if you have heard of them so this are uh, decentralized exchange this like we have package swap we have tinaman we have um radium and so many so many um this we have uniswap all right so those are this and but what we use majorly is what is the um sex sex it's, um, i don't mean sex okay yeah, it's, it's cex those are centralized exchange all right and binance is the number one that we are using all right so i spoke about how you can do spot trading in um in the last video and in this video i'll be moving to in our curriculum in our outline that i gave to you earlier we are having candlesticks pattern as the next words as the next um topic that we'll be going to after this we have one more to go all right so my name remains Kyle Deola and uh, welcome to another video of this lesson. So, fast forward, let's go into the uh, lesson. This is a PDF file. I sh won't share this PDF file for free, okay? And it's actually um, worth nothing less than $6, okay? I shared it for free on my status. That was um, some weeks ago. If you know you don't have my number saved, make sure you save it and send me your own if you can view my status save me a number and send me your own so that you can also have the privilege okay of of uh, getting whatever tonight wants to drop for free on my status and also the content that i drop you may be getting it um on my status all right so let's move forward i'll be sending you this pdf too i told you it cost less less six dollars but you are not paying any dime for it so let's move on and um this will be our guide as you can see the outline the, the, the contents here is the content but we are going to just touch those things that um we are concerned about so let's move forward like you know me already i don't waste too much time i go straight to the point and um make sure i achieve what i want to achieve all right so in candlesticks i'm sure by now you know what candlesticks means and um we have different kind of of ways in which we represent charts candlesticks is just a way of communicating information about how price is moving okay so candlesticks can be used in different markets it can be used in forest it can be used in cryptocurrency it can be used in stock this is just a way of representing human minds this was a way of representing what human beings are doing you know most of all these markets deals with human sentiments all right don't mind my grandma, so I will try as much as possible to bring it down. Human sentiment means that what people think, all right? So most of all this market deals with what people think. And so the candlesticks is to represent what people are thinking. Are people selling or are people buying? So if people are selling, the candlestick represents it as a down, and people are buying it as a up, okay? Like I said, you can use this kind of candlesticks for any kind of market, the forest market, the cryptocurrency market, the stock market the volatility market the indices market so for any market so far it uses candlestick analysis you can actually actually use this explanation but of course they whole need their in-depth explanation don't go and jump into what you don't know and then lose your money and come to me and okay it's carried kind of, i said this thing i can use it there there don't get me wrong all right so let's move forward candlesticks is just a way of representing uh, human minds we have line charts and we have bar charts 
this is candlesticks but we have bar charts and we have flash charts that is kind of different from this all right but i'm not going to that so let's just move on so in a candlestick we have what we call the open price the high price the close price and the low price now let's move on to the next page as you can see this is a representation of a candle Rep this one is a bullish candle bullish means when something is going up why bearish means when something is going down so i'm going to use this as a bullish candle okay this particular white candle and this black one as a bearish candle when something is going up it's going bullish why when something is going down it's going bearish so this is the high of it you know in any candlestick you, will, you can see there all these tinting lines we call them wicks okay we call them wicks all these tinting lines you can see them thin line thin line thin line it's always be on every candle so this is the high of a candle this is the low of the candle now i want to explain something we have forward we have open and close we have open and close you know it's going up so it refers open from here before what closing upward another one can know what's open here close upward don't forget it's a bullish candle is going up so open words open here then close upward now let's go to the bearish candle we always have what the same thing as what i and low i and low we have something as i and low high and low they are the same thing okay we call them like i said we call them weeks or shadow weeks or shadow so don't forget this is going down so it has to open here up has to open here and close here there's a little difference between what between the bullish candle and the bearish candle the open of the bullish candle is here why the close is here why the open of the bearish candle is here why the close is here i don't know if you get me you know this one is going down let me give an example as you can see this one is going down all right it's going down so it has to open what it has to open here then close here open here they close here open here they close here but in a bullish candle this is clean bullish candle it has to open here then close up open down then close up open down then close up that is just the basic of open and close in bullish and bearish i hope you get the point now let's move on so i've told you why the candlesticks works why candlesticks works because of human sentiments is we use what people have uh, what, what people are thinking to judge the market so it's 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 kind of using a past event to judge what to judge what is going to happen in the future so that's what the work of candlesticks so let's move on we have different types of pattern in candlesticks now we are moving towards candlestick patterns remember because outline says candlesticks and candlesticks pattern all right i hope i'm clear enough if you have any questions don't hesitate to let me know all right so candlesticks and candlesticks pattern now we are moving to the to to um to some structures this this these are structures yeah, um right now they are structures okay i won't be going in depth into into all of this because it actually requires you to 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 go in depth and i'll and, and i'll be um to be a long video but of course this is just to show you the preface and understand some basic things all right so if you want to proceed in learning of course you know what to do all right um, um we have we have um, a community a fast growing community that teaches people all about cryptocurrency all about cryptocurrency um it's a focus about how to trade all right, all right how to place trades how to analyze the markets and most importantly the community you are going to belong to the lesson is just like 20 percentage of what you are getting the community you are going to belong to um uh, you are going to be getting uh, information about what's going on in the markets you're going to be telling what to do and most importantly and i mean, I, I, I believe what people love the most is the signal aspect of it okay so when you come into the community you get our signals you get our signals on what to buy and when to sell when to buy and when to sell a particular coin so like i said this one will be going in depth the people that have it is the people that um are full students are full students of the community or the community so if you want to be among don't hesitate to come in of course it does require you to what to 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 pay a commitment i call it commitment fee because uh, this is, is, is because if it's free people will not value it so i call it a commitment fee because when it's free people don't know the value of what they are getting so that is the commitment fee if you want the commitment fee if you want to come in you have to pay a commitment fee and um that is it so let's go to we call we have a kind of stick we call them dodgy okay dodgy is when as you can see it's very 
the picture i love this i just love this pdf because it's very simple and um it's self-explanatory very simple and self-explanatory okay there is a work that this kind of sticks that this particular thing do well of course as you know i don't want to bore you with reading this for you you can just want to go ahead and read this thing yourself like i said i'm going to share you this pdf for you to what for you to be able to read it and understand all right so let's move on this is what we call dodgy all right if you if you said any pattern like this is dodgy and it's a sign of rejection in the market so just read it and what and grab what dodgy means we have what we have what we call hammer uh, hammer too is a sign of rejection as you can see it has a very long week and a small body upward so that is hammer read this particular so you can understand what it's self-explanatory trust me don't trust me because you don't know me so believe me i should say because i always love the word belief rather than trust why should i trust you i don't know you but believe me as time goes on i'm going to trust me okay so that's just it all right so um trusting is a personal decision why believing is saying is believing so i'm showing you something and you should believe it so this is what this what i'm saying is that if you read this, you're going to get it. So, Ama is a kind of stick with a small body. Like I said, it's, it's, it has a long week, but a small body. And it was a small range from up to close. A long week protruding below the body. Don't let me bore you with this. Just get it and you're going to get it. What I just want to show you is also, Ama is a sign of rejection in the market. As you can see, after this kind of Ama, there's a pullback up in the market. There's a pullback up in that particular candle. All right? Put back up the particular candle so because there was a rejection the bs they put the market down to this particular place and the bulls moved it up and it closes here so as can see that's a very small body so it means that the bear people are getting tired and what we are going up towards to 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 the bullish people so that is why it's called armor it's a sign of rejection in the market let's move on we have angry man we have shooting star these two are kind of similar even the three the hammer, the hanging man, and the shooting star. They're kind of similar. There are also signs of rejection in the market. Okay? But I must tell you, we have more than this. Okay? Let's, let's, let's just finish this particular slide. Um, all the slides. And and I can talk about the remaining ones. Okay? So, we have hanging man. We have shooting star. They are also what signs of rejection in the market. If you go to your candlesticks, you will always see this, all these patterns. You really see all these words. All these patterns in the market all right so we two and you're going to get it all right we have what checkmates 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 can also be called a consolidation okay and can, you can also call it ranging all right it's not stated in this pdf but i'm just telling you in case you you maybe you your friend said wow the market is just ranging or the market is just um, consolidating. So you know that, okay, this is what your friend is talking about. We call them what? Bearish check. This is a bearish checkmate because after this consolidation, there was a bearish trend. And this is a bullish checkmate because after this consolidation, there was what? There was a bullish. Okay, there was bullish. All right. So we have what we call support and resistance. But I'm not going to talk about support and resistance because it's not in our curriculum. That is why I'm not talking about it. So as you can see, there is a resistance here and there's a support here. So I won't go deep into it. Let me just remove myself from it. All right. So we have the bearish checkmates and the bullish checkmates. As you can see, just look at the look at the um look at the trend. You can see there's there was a bullish movement, bullish movement upward, and there was a consolidation. The market linked after which the market changed direction. All right, so same thing as here, there was a what a bearish movement consolidating and what it moves upward, it changed direction. But please note, I am not saying that this always happens in the market. I'm not saying that once you see consolidation, then it's going to go to the opposite direction. No, there are instances, and it's very many, that the market goes again in the direction of where it was let's go let me let's this, this as as case this one is going down so there was a consolidation it will continue going down that happened recently in the market so that's there is there's always like i said this is just to show you and make you understand some um basic and advanced stuff of this particular candlesticks okay there are what there are um, some things and some important that you need to consider before you know that okay this thing is going to go up or go down because you know people are very um um they believe that okay since i've 
taught them this thing and we just so I've seen a picture like this. So since the market is going up and consolidating is knowing if it starts going down, no, it can still continue going up. Okay, it depends on what is in the market. So don't get me twisted, all right? So we have gone to just try to read all these things before the simulations they are will be very, very helpful. Bearish checkmates and bullish checkmates. We also have the heavy star and the money star. Okay, the evening star and the money star. These ones are very, very similar to dodgy. Okay, dodgy. Don't forget this dodgy. This dodgy it has a very small body. Now, as you can see, this one will have a very small body, but not has what not has um dodgy. Okay, this one is evening star because it happened in a world in a bearish market, while this one is a money star because it happened in a bullish market. That is just the difference. Do not forget, I say bearish is when market is going down, while bullish is when market is going up. So don't forget that. That is very, very important in the markets. You will always hear that particular language. All right, so the morning star, the evening star, okay, just read through to, to go it. You are going to uh, understand it. So it's going to give you an idea, okay. The, this 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 bullish people are getting tired, so it makes the world the candlestick to be a small one. Also, these bullish are getting tired, so it makes the candle to be a small one. Then it starts going up. All right, so they are just signs of rejections. The market signs at which the market wants to change the direction. All right, so it's very very important you grab that particular thing. Hi, I'm saying. All right, so let's move to the next slide. We have the bullish engulfing and we have the bearish engulfing. What engulfing means is because is that the previous candle is smaller than the worth the newest candle. As you can see, this is a bullish engulfing because initially we have what we have a small candle and the next candle that came up is what boom, it's very big. So it what it's it's a bullish engulfing because it's if 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 you check the meaning, the meaning of a given in uh, in dictionary. If you check the meaning of and give in dictionary, it, it you will see that it's um some kind of when something supersedes something. Alright, so this kind of supersede this particular one, it supersedes the previous one. So we call it a bullish and giving. Why this one is what the bearish and giving. Alright, I've spent about 18 minutes now, so you should know that is why I'm trying to what make sure I cash up with something very very tangible within a short period of, which within a short period of time. All right. So we have the bearish the bearish and grooving, which is the opposite of the bullish and grooving. When the market is in in a when the market is it gives you a a a big bullish sign, then the next thing that formed beside it is what is a bearish candle which engulfs it. So we we'll call it then bearish and grooving. And the next one is what. Um, Arami and inside bar, and we also have, we also have Kika. Okay, we also have Kika. Or oh, this can be kind, 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 this can still be kind of complicated for you. This particular one can be kind of complicated for you. So it does it does not actually really happen in the market. So we can just um skip this and move to the next one because I like to talk about the key points in the market. So let's just move on. As you can see, you can just read through, of course, you can read through, it means gaps. You know, as you can see, you are seeing some kind of gap in this place. So it happens when there is a, um, how should I describe this gap? When there is a, you know, let's assume one, a big money coming to the market. So the, for the market to just move in a, in a straight candle, then it jumps because a big money came in and uh, that that is huge on the market. So it, it jumps. So, but I don't want to complicate your knowledge at, at this stage. That's why I said, let's just move on to the next stage. And we have um, our pissing line and we have dark cloud cover. All right, it's almost the same thing as bullish and giving and bearish and giving. You can as well go through this so you can get the point. All right, so we have three white soldiers and we have three black goals okay three white soldiers means that we have we have what we have um a bullish candle consists consistently a bullish candle after each other bullish 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 which makes it three white candles so we call them what three white soldiers they are soldiers three white soldiers all right so if you see this in the market, it means that the market is kind of strong. All right, you can read through this. Okay, this eye closes imply a strong reverse from bearish to bullish market. As you can see, 
It what? It implies a strong reverse from bearish to bullish sentiment. You know there was a bearish before, and then you see blah blue blue. Don't mind my signs, <laughs> okay? So it means that it means that the market has a very strong reverse. The bull are now in in the market. All right. So let's go to three black rules. Okay. This this means that. It's just the opposite of this one. There's an there's, a, there's an uptrend, and then you saw this black, black, black. It means the bearish are now taking over the market, and of course, all of these things it pays to see them in what we call M15 time frame in cryptocurrency or in any chart, forest, whatever chart. We have what we call time frames. Time frames, okay. It's not in our content as well. I do not talk about it. It's not in our curriculum. So time frames are very, very important. So um for you to know this is not just um kind of sticks not just about this so it's kind of broad kind of broad but i just wish to give this knowledge because it's very it's very common and um it's something you should make use of okay time frame we have what we call d1 time frame we have h4 time frame and so many i don't want to complicate your knowledge so you cannot you won't be like what's this guy saying so we have time frames time frames with Within the next 15 minutes, and that candle will form. Within the next 30 minutes, and that candle will form. A candle can form for a day, a candle can form for a year, a candle can form for a month. So let's just leave that aspect and not let me divide into that. But what I mean is that if you know what time frame is, okay, the best time frame to check all of this is M15 time frame, the 15 minutes time frame. So let's move ahead. Like I said, like I said, there's a package, a full package of crypto course that's can teach you all of that all right so it's it's her player to have you in and we we actually have a limited number that i want to take in because we we, we have to focus and um, not just it's not just about the money it's about the partition that you want to have okay so we are just taking limited numbers in limited numbers in and um of course we are good to go with that all right so let's move on we have the twister pattern Okay, we have we have what we call the twister top and the twister bottom. All right, there is a there, there there's a broad PDF I'm going to share you. Okay, it's 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 comp it contains the time frames, everything, all these patterns, all the ones that are not, that are not mentioned here. Like I said, there are, there are some that are not mentioned here. It contains all of them. The PDF file I'm going to share to you. But it's for the cryptocurrency full class. Okay. It's for the full cast of cryptocurrency, okay. It's not for this, um, just not for this webinar. So, when you come, you're going to be having that the time frames it contains all of that, so you can have all the knowledge for yourself, all right. So, um, let's move on. We have the two side top and two side, two side bottom, like I said, I don't, it's, 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 it's also a reversal um, indication, but I don't want to move into that, okay. It's also a reversal indication, but as you can see, as you can see, it's it's um twizzer top is what is just coming about them is i should say is what twizzer bottom the bottom are what are at same level the bottom are at same level same level same level same level and twizzer top same level same level same level so that's just the difference between them and it's a sign of rejection let's assume we are we are we are getting a bearish candle and boom you saw a twizzer top yeah, that's that's that the next is bullish. You saw a bearish can a can bearish candle to that to that top to that but to that bottom then bullish. So we you, you saw you saw a bullish candle then you saw a to that top bearish. Okay, that's just the basic thing about to that patterns. All right, so we have what we call confluence. Okay, it's just what we also call ranging. As you can see, this market is ranging. Is ranging. Is consolidating. Like I've said, it's consolidating. You can also call it uh um confluence okay so it's just a technical um pronunciation why the ranging or it, the ranging is also a technical pronunciation but this one is more technical all right so you can also call it ranging or consolidating it means it's not going in just in any direction it's not going upward it's not going downward it's consolidating this is a big picture of what we have in the other slide let me show you okay yeah what we have here that is just the big picture just a big picture all right so let's move on we're rounding up now 
we have was the hammer, the dodgy, the bullish checkmates at S200 exponential moving average. This is an indicator, so I'm not going to talk about that. So I think that will be all about this candlestick and candlestick patterns. This lesson has been awesome. I must say that you cannot get this free from any source. You cannot just get this free from any source. Any webinar from any source because the aim is to what is to impart you with the knowledge and for those that feel like wow i wish to know this thing i wish to make money from this thing then you watch they go ahead and learn more about it like i said i our service is made known it's made known we are not the type of people that will, they will tell you to opt in for a two weeks class then they teach you for a week, two weeks to you you won't even know that okay they want to collect money from you for any advanced class we don't do that i personally i don't do that because it's it's um i'm not i'm not um i don't want to i'm not uh should i say i'm not exhausting money from you i want to give you a service i want to help you in, 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 in that will make you financially free so I, I should tell you this is what we are for you this, this is how we can help you so you know okay these people this is what they have you get to know it's not just um exhausting money from anyone so you let them know get them prepared this is what we have for you. This is what we want to achieve with you. So what we want to achieve with you is what is to make sure that you are very profitable trading the cryptocurrency markets and you understand all the basics and the advance of it. So thanks for watching. I hope to see you in the next and the final um, um, webinar, the final video for this webinar. Sincerely, sincerely, and um, some of you, some of you are already getting in. Some of you are already getting in. You already see the vision. You already see what it tends to get. And of course, it's a great privilege for you. It's a great privilege for every, everyone. And um, I hope to see you and be part of those people that will, you will take to the journey of this year. That we're going to take to the journey of this year is going to be of a great privilege for you. And I hope this year will be your best year yet in whatever thing that you are doing. All right, so. Thank you and uh, stay safe.